Hi, good evening to you. Yeah, tonight we are learning more about the moments the Dulos's longtime nanny started to see a turn in the relationship between Jennifer and Fotis Dulos when she says it started to become tumultuous. And for her, she noticed it in the spring of 2017. That's when she says Jennifer learned about Fotis having an affair. She was friendly. Lauren Almeida, the longtime nanny for the Dulos family, recalling the moment she met Michelle Traconis. It was March of 2017, and the Dulos family was vacationing in Miami. While it was Almeida's first time meeting Traconis, it wasn't the first time for some of the Dulos children. They were calling her Mitchy, and they hugged her. Shortly after the trip, Almeida describes a change in Jennifer Dulos's demeanor, who suspected Fotis was having an affair. Eventually, Fotis admitted to it. She opened up more saying that she was no longer in love with Fotis, but she wanted, she had five kids, so they were going to try and work out what they could. But soon, Almeida says the tension between Fotis and Jennifer grew stronger and fights became frequent. Almeida says Jennifer was fearful for her and her children. And she says Fotis would threaten to take the kids away to Greece. Secretly, Jennifer began moving her family out of their Farmington home. She was afraid of what Fotis would do to her or with the kids if she filed for divorce while they were living under the same roof. The couple took it to the courts. Fotis would only see his children once a week under supervision. At one point, Almeida refused to be around Fotis. Almeida taking us to the day Jennifer went missing. Have you seen Jennifer Dulos since May 23rd, 2019? No. That morning, Jennifer had doctor's appointments in New York City. That afternoon, her kids did too. Almeida planned to bring the Dulos kids to the city later that day. But when she got to Jennifer's new Canaan home, things seemed off. When I went into the garage, yes, um, the Range Rover was still there and the Suburban was gone when she told me she would be taking the Range Rover. Also unusual, Jennifer not responding to texts. While Almeida went to the city, she continued to worry about Jennifer. The second I called Jennifer, it's like my stomach just sank because she never not answered her phone. Almeida called police, telling them about marital problems between Jennifer and Fotis. But the defense questioning Almeida's observation of their relationship from the start, one where Fotis would travel a lot without Jennifer. You always thought that the dynamic between Fotis and Jennifer was odd. Yeah. Now back out here live, there was also a brief disruption in the trial this afternoon when after the lunch recess, there was an apparent interaction with one of the alternate jurors and the prosecutors in this case where the prosecutor didn't want to get on the elevator with one of those alternate jurors to which that person then responded something to the effect of it's OK, we still love you. So because of that interaction, the judge dismissed that alternate juror for the day and for the rest of the trial. Now there are four alternate jurors left and six regular jurors. They will not be replaced. We're live here in Stanford tonight. Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.